Hello everyone. Welcome to Aptitude Jab. This is a set based on games and tournament based on volleyball. It says that volleyball matches are played in five sets, and the first four sets are played to twenty-five points, with the final set being played to fifteen points. Now. The condition is that a team must win a set by at least two points. That is called two point advantage. And if the game goes beyond it, then it is one until one team gets a two point advantage. So what does this mean? That let us say a game is of twenty five points. Okay, the opponent can have any score one, two, three, four, and so on till twenty three. Okay, so till twenty three, the team can win. Suppose this team has scored twenty four, so the team has to win by twenty six twenty four. If the team has reached twenty five, then it has to be twenty seven twenty five, twenty eight twenty six. So beyond twenty five, so till twenty five, it can be up to uh, like twenty three. But beyond twenty five, it has to be exactly two point advantage. Okay, so this is the scoring line. Now it says that there was a match. There was a uh, match between India and Pakistan, and some conditions are given to us. So India and Pakistan. So five rounds being played. Now the first condition that is given to us is that only three sets finished with the minimum threshold points. So minimum threshold points is what? Minimum threshold point is basically twenty five or fifteen in the last round. Okay, the total score of the five sets of India and Pakistan were hundred and eight and hundred and sixteen. So India's total is hundred and eight, Pakistan's total is hundred and sixteen. However, India won three sets. Okay, so although India has a lower total, but India won three sets. The score of India in one of the sets was the same as the score of Pakistan in one of the other sets. Both of them lost their respective sets by different margin. Okay, so we do not know this number yet. Pakistan scored twenty three points in one of the sets. Now twenty three points can be scored in this set, and India winning by twenty five. Or other possibility is Pakistan may score twenty three in one of these sets, and India scoring twenty one. So this has two possibilities. Okay, so either Pakistan will score twenty three in the normal sets and lose. And score twenty three in the extra the fifth set and win. So we will put this condition on hold as of now. The score of Pakistan was the same in two of the sets in which it won one of the sets. So one is lost and one is won, and in both the sets it had equal scores. So we'll need to find out. In one of the sets, the final score of India was less than half of Pakistan's. Okay, uh, an important information because an extreme case. Losing badly in one of the sets, there were only three sets in which a team won by exactly a two point advantage. So three sets won by two points each. Now, when will a two point advantage happen? Like if it is going beyond threshold. Okay, so two point advantage can happen in two cases. Like either it is, uh, of course, it is a normal game, and it is going the uh, if it goes beyond the threshold limit. Now it says there are three sets that finished within minimum threshold points. Okay, so there were two sets that were greater than the threshold points. Now, if a set is more than the threshold point, so it is always a two-point advantage. Now we have three sets of two-point advantage. So this means these two sets will be included here, plus one which is finishing with minimum threshold. So we will have three sets. Let us say <coughs> one set goes like twenty six twenty four, another set goes like twenty seven twenty five. Now it can be in the the last set also. Okay. So if there are two sets which are two point advantage, then there has to be one set which is. Which one more set, which is threshold and two point advantage, because there are five sets. So this means that the second last condition gives us that one of the sets has to be twenty five, twenty three, or fifteen, thirteen, because there will be one game which is at minimum threshold also and two point advantage also. 
the maximum score by any team in the five sets was 30 and minimum was 12 now when we say maximum 30 that means the definite score is 30 28 but when we say minimum 12 we cannot find out okay now 30 28 because like once it goes beyond the threshold limit it has to be a two point advantage so this is the entire information given to us now what we should start with is like this minimum was 12 okay so minimum score is 12 and also given that in one of the sets the final score of india was less than half of pakistan's okay so if we consider like this 15 wala set so india has to have less than uh, 7.5 which is not possible so this means and this condition means that one set was india 12 and pakistan 25 that is one of the most important conditions to start with okay so one set india is now which of the sets that is not uh, not uh, asked here and not relevant also we do not have to order the sets we just have to find the last set and the remaining four sets they can be in any order okay so let's see the next one now we said that there is a condition in which pakistan is scoring 23 points Now we will take two possibilities, either Pakistan scores 23 points here or here, okay. So it can score 23 points and this is a special set, okay. Last set is a special one in which the threshold limit is 15 points, in all others it is 25 points. Alright, so let us say, let us just take for example that Pakistan scores 23 points in this set. So Pakistan has to win by two points because uh, like if you cross the threshold then you have to win by two points. So 23-21. Now India has lost both these. So India should win the remaining three sets. Okay. Now if you see the remaining three and total is 108. This is 33 points. So India needs 75 and has to win all these three sets. So minimum also if it gets 25, 25, 25, it will end up in 108. Okay, so that is how it can make 108 points. But we are given a condition that only three sets, uh, only three sets finish with the minimum threshold points. Now in this scenario, this is also minimum threshold, and these three also end up in minimum threshold, which is not possible. So we will eliminate this possibility. So we will have the next scenario wherein 20 and 25. So Pakistan scores 23 in one of these sets, the initial four sets. Okay. Now Pakistan has scored 23. So India's score is going to be 25 in this set. Okay. That is for sure because uh, like uh, uh, if it is 23, it even if it is a two-point advantage, it has to be 25. It cannot go beyond 25. So 23 means the winning number will be 25 only. Now we need to find out that uh, there is one condition given that the maximum score is 30 or one of the scores is 30, 28. Right? So this, achha, this thing is also determined that 25, 23, so 15, 13 will not happen. So that is also eliminated now. Now one of the score lines is 30, 28 because one team is scoring 30. So let us take a case that Pakistan scores 30 in this match. Okay. Or in this set, does not matter. So if Pakistan scores 30, India has to score 28. Okay. Now see this. Pakistan has 1, 2. India has won 1. So India should win both of these and the total score we shall use to figure out that what will be the score. So this is 40, 65, 43 points India needs to score and if we consider Pakistan score this is 48, 78 that is 38. Okay. India needs to win both the matches. So one match India will win by 2 points, another by 3 points, then only it can win by a total of 5 points. 2 and 3 points. Now, uh, if India wins by 2 and 3 points, 
so one set uh, could go like 25 and 22 3.2 let us just say that india wins this by 3 points and another by 2 points so 25 22 or like three point advantage means it has to be at the threshold limit itself okay so 3 and then 18 and 16 two point advantage so now let us see all the conditions if they they are matching so one of the conditions is the score of pakistan was same in two sets now this is not matching no same score now if we consider that india wins this set by minimum threshold that is two points uh, like if it india wins by two points and this this three means minimum threshold so another condition we can put here is like india wins 15 12 because that will give us uh, the three point advantage so this should be 28 and 26 does it uh, does it make sense let us see the condition now again pakistan is not having same score in two of the sets pakistan should have two sets with same score so we have taken both the possibilities so this anyway we, we are given this we derived by getting that this cannot be 23 and we took a case that pakistan wins by 30 28 and based on it we have seen both the conditions none of the conditions like lead us to this condition that pakistan score is same in two of the sets so this means 28 30 is not possible so it will be india who will win by 30 28 so 12 25 25, 23, and India wins by 30, 28. Okay, now India has won two of the sets. Pakistan has won one of the sets. Now this is 55, 67, so 41 points in two sets, and this is 48, 76, so 40 points in two of the sets. Now India has to score 41 points, and Pakistan has to score 40 points. so this means india should win by 3 point and one of them has to be uh, a 2 point margin because uh, this is a 2 point margin this is a 2 point margin there has to be another 2 point margin it says that there are uh, three sets with 2 point advantage so india should win by 2 points and uh, india should win by 3 points and pakistan should win by 2 points so net net india will have one more points in these two games combined okay so let us say india wins the three point game this one okay so uh, like if we say this 25 and uh, this would be 22 then this would be 16 and 18 okay so that it becomes 40 also india wins three matches also and uh, the two point advantage is in three matches now if we see the condition again that pakistan was same in two sets it is still not satisfied so this means that india did not win this match by two point advantage instead india sorry india did not win this by three point advantage this is the match in which india will win by three point advantage and now this is 15 wala match so it will be 15 12 now this turns out to be 26 41 and to make it 40 we need 28 now let us see if it satisfies all the conditions uh three sets finished with minimum threshold points so minimum threshold one point one match two match and three matches so this is satisfied total score we have taken care of score of india in one of the sets was same as the score of pakistan in one of the other sets both of them lost their respective sets okay so 25 25 win wala set we have 12 and 12 right india and pakistan have 12 12 each and both of them lost so this is satisfied pakistan scored 23 points in one of the sets satisfied score of pakistan was same in two sets now we have this condition also same in two sets so this was the condition that was
making too many cases now this is also satisfied okay and this anyway we started with these also have been satisfied so this is the final score line that we will get uh, india score in five sets and pakistan score in five sets what is the what was the score of india in the fifth set in the fifth set india scored 15 points in how many sets was the score of pakistan an even number so in one two three sets three of the five sets which of these denotes the margin by which india won one of the sets okay so india's winning margin is two here two here and three here so it is three points the score of pakistan was the same in two of the sets what was the score so that equal score is 28 which of these is not the final score of india in any of the sets so india has a score of 25 26 also india did not score 28 points in any of the sets so this is the solution to the set and the answers to the questions